Well, how does an idea become a law here in Maine? State Senator Justin Chinette, who represents District 31, wrote a very special book to teach kids how. The Great Whoopie Pie Debate. First off, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Absolutely. Everybody loves whoopie pies. Yes. We do, of course. <laughs> and how did this idea come about? Tell us about it. Well, in speaking to student groups and classrooms, I kept coming back with how do we make government fun and interactive? It can be a little bit of a dry subject, I think, for everybody. <laughs> and right? a challenge. And a challenge, <laughs> right, to understand understand some complex topics, particularly for young kids that are just starting to learn about it in their curriculum. So I thought, why not make it fun and interactive through the pages of a coloring book? And this goes kind of like old school. That was when I was a kid, I used to watch a, a School of Rock uh, with the song, uh, I'm Just a Builder. It was way back in 1976. Are you going to sing it, Jeff? I am not. <laughs> uh, we want people to keep watching this. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, and that's sort of one of the inspirations. You know, I think teachers still play that VHS tape if they have a VHS player. And so this is sort of modeled after that of trying to say, how can your idea, even if you're a kid, how can it become law? So we walk the kids through the legislative process with a live debate of when we debated the state dessert, which is not the whoopie pie, sadly. That actually lost out to Pennsylvania. This is a fun factoid for the yes. morning. Um, and But actually, the state dessert is the blueberry pie. But we follow the steps of the process, the committee process, the public hearing, and we get kids involved in the process. And so what will kids find in this book? You know, there are activities and things like that as well. Crossword puzzles, fun on factoids of Maine, um, all kind of word searches. Um, it's really a great supplement for teachers in the classroom that are doing a fantastic job. Particularly, we find that third, fourth, and fifth graders are already learning about government, so this is a good supplement to what they're learning. Well, when I looked at a book, I love page 17, where you get to write your own bill. So first of all, what inspired you to put that one in? And if you could write your own bill, like right now, what would it be? <laughs> well, first of all, I want young people to get involved in the political process. I want them to understand how their government works. So even just that page, just just making sure that they're a part of this and they know that their voice is heard. Civics education is so critically important. They're going to be more apt to register to vote, more apt to maybe even run for office one day. We need more young people to think about that. So I hope that they write their own bill. I hope they get involved in the political process. And if I was to write my own bill, it would continue to be civics education. There you go. Yeah. And what has the response been like? What sort of feedback have you received? Well, the kids really like it. That's the litmus test, right? right. And so it's really neat to see even kids that are a little older. We went to a middle school, for instance, seventh graders, you wouldn't normally think, oh, they're going to be into coloring books. You know, everyone's glued to their cell phone nowadays. But they actually took to it. And a lot of the teachers said, wow, it was really great to see them excited about something physical that they were interacting with. They were excited to color the different steps of the process and actually write their own bill, which is really fun. Right, what's, what's great, too, is this is going for a great cause, too, the proceeds. Right. All the proceeds benefit college scholarships for Maine students, which is a, a cause near and dear to my heart. We've given out thousands and thousands of dollars over the years in college scholarships to be able to, again, empower the next generation of civic leaders. And you mentioned, you know, obviously this could be a great tool to be used in classrooms that teachers can use. How about just families who maybe want to pick this up? Can they do that as well? Yeah, families, everybody. Actually, even adults have reached yeah. out saying, you know, I know you said it's a children's book, can we, but we get it too. I'm like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> we could all use a refresher in civics, particularly in Maine state government. That's a unique process than a different state. So I think it's something for all ages and coloring is therapeutic. So it we is. like that. <laughs> so, so, so wait a minute, that means you're bringing us to the state house in Augusta? for the next session? <laughs> anytime, anytime. I will pass them out, yes. And, and we always have student groups visit the State yeah. House, which is right. great to see that engagement. And so if people want to buy the book, how can they do that? They can go to whoopiepie.org. How easy is that? Perfect. Right? Easy. And if they want to physically pick up the book, the Saco Scoop has it in Saco, which is really great, which is a nonprofit ice cream shop. I want so. to physically pick up a whoopie pie, though. Maybe I know, I'm sorry I didn't have any pie. samples. It's a little early for whoopie <laughs> yeah. pies this morning, but next time, I All promise. All right, sounds yeah. good. Justin, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you.